Greetings world. We are anonymous. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us. These past several years there have been several airline mishaps, collisions, and airplanes breaking down or pieces break, as well as pilot errors. A video was just released of an Air Canada plane nearly smashing into another plane filled with passengers at the San Francisco airport last July. This incident could have been the worst aviation disaster in history, and was due to pilot error. Air Canada plane AC320 was going for a full speed landing onto the crowded taxiway. There were 135 passengers on the AC320 flight, and the plane it almost smashed into was nearly full. There were also four other crowded planes nearby. The Air Canada plane flew up at the very last moment, missing the plane by just 30 meters. On April 17th of this year, a woman was killed after a southwest plane window breaks mid-flight, forcing an emergency landing. The engine failed, causing the passenger's window to break. A piece of the engine from the Boeing 737 flew into a window and broke it, causing the jet to depressurize. A woman was partially drawn out of the plane window before being pulled back in by other passengers. The National Transportation Safety Board investigators said one of the engine's fan blades broke off from the hub during the flight. The woman was dragged headfirst through a window which had been smashed by engine fragments, causing sudden decompression of the cabin. Fellow passengers fought to pull her back inside. She later died from her injuries. Another Southwest Airlines flight was forced to divert and land before reaching its intended destination recently, after a pane in one of the cabin windows was damaged in flight. The Federal Aviation Administration said it was investigating what had caused the window, which was on an exit row to break, although the damage did not affect the pressure inside the plane. Recently, an airplane made an emergency landing on a Calgary roadway. The small plane was inbound to Calgary International Airport with six people aboard when it started to have engine trouble. There were no injuries, and only minimal damage to a sign and the right wing from hitting the sign. The female pilot landed the plane absolutely amazingly, given the circumstances. Nine people aboard an aging cargo plane making its final military flight recently were killed when the aircraft nosedived onto a Georgia highway. The plane involved was at least 50 years old. The plane made a loud strange noise just before the crash, and the ground shook as if a bomb went off when it hit. All the airmen were from Puerto Rico. Following more than a year of close call runway mishaps at San Francisco International Airport, the FAA has determined most were caused by pilot errors, including one potentially disastrous incident when an Air Canada flight crew failed to respond to repeated orders to abort their landing to avoid hitting another plane on the runway. The FA findings obtained exclusively cover for investigations at SF dating back to December 2016 involving three questionable landings and another plane taxiing to take off. The FA also revealed that the airport has significantly buttressed its ground radar system and shut down a confusing taxiway, while the federal agency sent a special team to the facility earlier this year to determine why planes were lining up for wrong runways and taxiways. Federal authorities at the San Francisco International Airport have blamed pilots for three near accidents during recent landings and are investigating the causes of another. A fifth close call was blamed on traffic control. Several safety improvements have been made at this airport since December 2016. When a plane almost entered a busy runway, more lights have been added to the runway. A confusing taxiway has been closed, and a ground radar system has been reinforced to give pilots a greater level of precision when landing, 
which we see that all of these issues obviously still continue. The Federal Aviation Administration recertified the airport after an in-depth review of its operations. The FAA said in a report that three of the five close calls involving aircraft reported in the past 16 months at the busy airport were caused by pilots. Harsher laws must be put into place to properly maintain as well as inspect each and every piece of an aircraft from more than one person, in order to ensure that nothing mechanically was missed, before an aircraft even gets the OK to be flown. This is another one of those cases where they claim safety is the most important but yet something always seems to go wrong mechanically. Pilots must get retrained, every time they have to renew their licenses is when they should be getting tested to make sure they have proper training first. But pilots should be getting retrained every six months on everything, as well as have log books to cut the risk of fatigue, sleepiness, and other major factors. Pilots should also get huge charges since they are putting several other people's lives at risk every time they fly a plane. So doing a pilot error means the pilot is at fault, so he should get his license taken away for good get a charge such as terrorism or counts of attempted murder, as well as a harsh prison sentence. Not once do we hear of pilots being fined or disciplined for their errors. Not only that but airplanes that are older than 10 years should not be able to fly. We are anonymous. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.